Hi everyone! Welcome back to another week here on my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be part two of a video from a few weeks ago on how to get more work as a photographer. If you watched the last video, you will have learned that a huge component of building your business will be doing tons of collaborations with people you know, and maybe some people that you don't, in order to produce a lot of work for your portfolio. So now that you have all of this work kicking around on external hard drives and on your computer, like I do, piles of external hard drives. <laughs> you need to do something with it. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit on a computer doing nothing and not doing you any favors with respect to building your business. So there are two parts to running any successful business. Doesn't matter what line of work you're in, these two rules apply. So listen carefully. Rule number one, do great work. It's really that simple. Part number two, make sure everybody knows about it everybody your grandma her mailman your aunt her friend your uncle literally everybody should know about this amazing work that you're producing now part number two is usually the most difficult part for most people and it certainly was for me part number two can be broken down into a number of different categories there's so many different ways to get your work out there and get it seen today we're going to be talking mostly about social media now, I know some of you people out there are like, but Emma, I'm not on social media. And the question that I have for you is, what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Seriously, we're talking about this incredible medium that we now have at our disposal as business owners, where you can get your work seen by literally the world. The world, what are you waiting for? But Emma, social media is not free. They take our data and information. Yep, tough luck. World is not fair, unfortunately. Um, if you insist on running your business from your, you know, deserted island or your cave, go for it. Good luck, but you won't uh, be using anything in this video, so. Seriously, social media is this incredible tool that we have at our disposal now as business owners where you can have your work seen by literally the entire world. But if you are on social media, stick around. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to strategically leverage your content in order to get more clients. While I was pretty good right at the beginning at posting my work about 12 years ago, um, I wasn't really that great at tooting my own horn. We're kind of conditioned in this society to not boast about ourselves. It's very uncomfortable for me to be like, hey, look at how awesome I am. Love me. Unfortunately, you kind of have to do that. It's all about promo, promo, promo when it comes to your business. Again, doesn't matter what line of work you're in, you have to promote yourself. You cannot rely on anybody else to do it for you. You have to throw that discomfort right out of the window and get on with the program. Now, if you're already on Facebook and Instagram, awesome. You are already a few steps ahead of some people. Make sure that you add everybody that you've ever known, everybody. Add them all, add all of your clients, add all of your friends. And if you're feeling very risque, you can start adding people you don't even know. It's called networking. I actually like to call it random acts of networking. When you're adding people that you don't even know, you might wanna take into account what your target market is. Are you doing a lot of family portraits? You might wanna start adding people that have families. Are you doing a lot of pet portraits? Start adding people who have pets. Are you doing dance photos? Start adding people who are in dance. Model photos, start adding models. The fact of the matter is, everybody out there is a potential client in some capacity, and the more people that you have engaging with you and seeing your work, the better. So now you're on social media. You're on Facebook, you're on the gram, you have a Facebook business page for your business as well. You've added all of these amazing people to your network. You started posting your work. What's next? A huge component is making sure that your photos get seen. And one way to do that is to tag everybody involved in the creation of those photos. So that's makeup artists, hairstylists, wardrobe stylists, anybody involved in the creation of the photo, including the people in the photos themselves. For example, a family that you photograph, tag them in the photos. Go and take a look after you've tagged them in the photos to see if they show up on their wall. If they don't, you can either push it to their wall with their permission or ask them to share the photos on their wall themselves. Now, if people are sharing your photos as well, make sure that they do tag you in the photos and that they do tag your business page as well. 
So now there is a key component to making sure more people see your photos that you've posted and that is once people start commenting on your photos, make sure that you like each comment or love each comment and respond to each comment as well. As soon as Facebook starts seeing that something is getting a lot of traction, a lot of people are commenting on it, talking about it, Facebook doesn't really care what you're talking about, in theory. And the way Facebook's algorithm works is the more people that engage with a post, including you responding to people's comments, the more it starts to think, hey, this is a pretty popular post, we should show it to more people. So you may have noticed once in a while that like somebody will creep your old, old photos that you thought you had taken down, but you hadn't, oops. And somebody will like an old photo that you thought was gone forever. Yeah. Once one person likes that photo, Facebook thinks, oh, this photo got a little bit of engagement. I should show it to a few other people. And then what happens is you see all of a sudden, this photo that you hadn't thought about for 12 years starts to get lots of likes and lots of comments from people. It's like it had been you know, dug up from the grave where it belonged. It's the same principle that Facebook uses in order to determine what's popular and what's trending amongst your network. So make sure when people comment that you do respond to each comment and that you do like each comment as well. You'll find that as traction builds and momentum builds, all your posts are gonna start getting way more interaction on Facebook. Now, furthermore, if you have a Facebook fan page, I recommend posting to the fan page first post your photography, your portfolio, whatever work you've collaborated on, post it on the Facebook page, and then share that post from your Facebook page to your wall. The fact of the matter is, Facebook is a publicly traded company now, which means they love making money, and they're only going to show stuff on your Facebook fan page to a select number of people unless you pay to boost that post. So you can pay to boost a post, absolutely. I'll have other videos about that at another time or you can share it from your Facebook fan page to your wall where more people are going to see it. It's kind of a nice little workaround. This is truly how I accidentally started my business almost 12 years ago. Facebook was pretty new at the time. It was not considered like a business or marketing medium like it is now. And what I did was every time I went into the studio, I posted those photos on Facebook to kind of show the world what I was doing. It's like, hey, this is pretty cool and I'm having fun. And people started coming to me um, having seen these photos that I had done of their friends and asking me like, hey, how much do you charge for headshots or how much do you charge for you know, family photos? It's really how I started my business and you can do it too. There's literally nothing that should stop you. Another component of making sure everybody knows about your great work is not just leveraging the work itself, but also leveraging the experiences that your clients and collaborative partners have had with you. And what I mean by that is asking them to write a review. I know, it feels pretty weird being like, hey, can you say some like nice stuff about me in public, please? But the fact of the matter is, if you don't ask, people likely won't think to do it. So it is really good practice after you've worked with somebody to ask them if they could leave you a review. A great place to leave reviews is on a Google business page. So if you haven't set one up, please do so. It's totally free. Set up a Google business page and ask people to leave you Google reviews. An added benefit of this is that Google itself uses Google reviews and how many people have left you reviews in order to rank your page when people are searching for photographers or really whatever your business is. It's a perfectly free and very easy way to get a ton of traction for your website and a ton of traction for your business in general. Personal anecdote, I started deliberately collecting Google reviews only about, I guess, 10 months ago. I have over 160 five-star reviews on my different brands. And ever since I started doing that, my business has blown up. I mean, blown up. So full disclosure, I've already surpassed last year's income. And if you're not sure what date it is, it's June. We're halfway through the year. So I can't overstate how important it is to ask people you've worked with to leave your reviews on Google and on your Facebook fan page if you have them activated there as well. The great thing about reviews is not only do they help your business rank better when people are searching for you, but they also offer something called social proof. So basically social proof is proof that you A, are not a creepy weirdo who's gonna steal somebody's money, and B, actually do good work, and C, are in fact a real person that people can trust with their time and money. The fact of the matter is, photography is not very cheap. It's kind of a luxury for most people. So people want to rest assured that they're working with somebody who's worked with tons of other people and has made tons of other people happy. So it is imperative 
that you collect reviews. If you haven't started doing it, start today. Like I challenge you to reach out to five people you've worked with and ask them if they would leave you a review on Google. Make it easy for them, even send them a link. Send them a link, say please take a second to leave me a review, I would appreciate it ever so much. Okay, you guys are gonna have to get back to me and let me know that you did that. I really wanna hear that you did that and I wanna hear that you keep doing it. In conclusion, I know it feels really, really weird to be promoting yourself like rah, rah, go me, woo, I'm awesome. But quite frankly, it has to be done and you're the person that has to do it. I'm gonna leave it there for now. I really hope that you found this video informative and helpful. I'm always here to answer your questions. I love, love all the messages that I've been getting on Instagram lately, asking me questions about lighting and studio portraiture. I'll be making videos about that in the future as well. If you have any questions for me, please do send them. I'm happy to help. I'm so happy talking to you guys. I do my best to answer all of my messages in a timely fashion. So please rest assured, if you message me, I will do my best to answer you. Join me next week for my next video. Not yet sure what it's going to be about, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. In the meantime, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit all those buttons. Don't hit the dislike button, it makes me sad. And I would love to hear if collecting testimonials has helped your business as well. All right, ciao. One of the things I've really enjoyed about running this YouTube channel so far is everything's been from the waist up, so I've refused to wear real pants. Yeah, I like to call pants leg prisons. It's definitely gulag for legs, yes. Last week I had a few people ask me like, where was Pixel? I didn't see Pixel in the video. So in the meantime, here's Libby. Oh, you haven't really shown your face around here, my sweet lady. You good girl? Oh. Yeah, okay. You wanna say hi? You just want treats. I know you do. I know. Oh god, he tolerates me. Hey, okay, bye. And that's a wrap. Till next week. <laughs>